Thanks, Josh. A once-in-a-generation construction boom is underway in central New York. Builders and architects held a networking night tonight to talk about how the region is going to meet that building demand. New at 10, our Dale Ostrander tells us more. Change is on its way to central New York, and panelists at the discussion here want central New Yorkers to take advantage of what lies ahead, even if that road is still taking shape. Projects like tearing down the old I-81 and building a new one, plus constructing the massive Micron plants in clay, are putting construction companies to the test. Onondaga Community College organized this event, bringing together local experts in design and construction. These infrastructure investments are for us. They're not just for an outside company that's coming in. You know, just because people may have doubts about whether that's going to happen doesn't mean we shouldn't still make these positive investments in our community. Andy Brewer owns Huber Brewer Construction. He says over the next 10 years, towns surrounding the city of Syracuse need to capitalize on housing. I think the statistic is that less than 1% of the land outside of the city of Syracuse in the county of Onondaga is properly zoned for multifamily housing right now. You know, every township is going to have their interests and you, and you want to preserve the culture and the charm of those towns, but you also really have to step up to meet the moment here. Lauren Staniak is OCC's Professor of Architectural Design and Construction. She agrees that the construction and design coming is unprecedented. They need a strong local workforce to get the buildings in the ground. We're making all of our students job ready so that they're ready to start in a really hands-on way day one that after they graduate. For the past two or three decades, we've actually, from a labor quotient standpoint, our, our construction population has actually been below the average nationally. So now I think we're kind of double tasked with not only the challenge of getting to the average, but maybe getting above that average. Panelists agree that capitalizing on this infrastructure boom starts with encouraging and educating the younger generation to want to stay at home and to work in the field that will give them a good career that could change Central New York forever. Reporting in Syracuse, I'm Dale Ostrander.